This is Lost in Electronics. Um, today we're going to have a video about the new firmware update they just released about two days ago, which is Unify Dream Machine Pro Firmware 8. Point, uh, sorry, 1.8.4. Uh, with a uh, network for with a network of 6.0.43 um, This is the release notes right here for the community uh, release notes for the 8.1.8.4 uh, uh, What it basically did is it fixed a lot of the WAN issues that most people are having um, Also the land the land port speeds uh, so they have had there, they have a couple new set up in the interface side of it, um, for, on how it basically the interface looks is not very, too much has changed. So it's not a huge update here. Um, so far has been a very stable up for at least the one I at least had it up here. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go through some of the just basic there. We're gonna go ahead and just go through this, the basic changes here so we can show you what there and see if you really want to upgrade or not. I tested myself uh, as a official update, so it's not like there's a beta version, but um, anytime you don't know, anytime there's new firmware updates, how everything's going to get affected. Um, this is the old classic view here that we're using, so we're going to go ahead and go through the view. So we're going to go ahead and go to our settings. Here I like the classic view, but these are the things here. We're going to go ahead and go through the new settings just to see here. So far, you have been noticed has not really had anything has changed so far for the really the connection side. management this has the same things we really had to not too much anything else traffic identifications here system settings new dashboard not new dashboard so they have it there advanced features you really haven't noticed there have their advanced gateway really hasn't had much that's changed I personally like still using the classic view so we're gonna go back to classics Here's the classic view. There, you've noticed there's not really anything that's changed here. Again, they haven't seen a lot of different changes here. This is a normal, there's another user upgrade here. Uh, no more user group here. Here is the normal, there's the controller set up, so you've noticed they haven't had really any kind of uh, changes here. Main, the, the main one is going to be the new dashboard setup, which is this gonna be this guy right here. which tells you your ISP, it tells you your, uh, your uptime utilization, this kind of the new view, view of what it looks like here. It tells me the operating systems right there so I can see all the machines and what they're using, wireless devices, guest networks. This is Windows, that's just my Xbox there, but that does show you everything they have there, whatever's been running here. Back up, haven't seen any changes there. So, really, there's not much has changed here. Internet logs, notifications. Mapping's the same.
client list pretty much the same here even though there's not really anything that's changed here Touchy's threat management system, touch your log, normal health center. Go back to the settings there. Back to you back to your tells you the updated version. This is how you click on the check for updates. Tells you the last time your update. Shows your utilization. Tells you the information. That really has anything has changed there. If you had any of the other services, there's all. If you want to check for updates, protect, access, and talk, I don't use any of those because I don't. I mainly like just making sure I have enough bandwidth for all my uh, all my other devices. I don't really like using that. And if you have remote access enabled or not, SSH. Touch your utilization. Touch your CP temperature. Touch your memory usage. So again, you really have noticed there's not really much has changed here. It's always a good idea to tell it to download a backup, which I already have. Contact database is always a good idea to do so so often. And you can tell they have really haven't had anything that's really have changed that much. This is just a basic update here. Um, this is just going and making a uh, this is just showing you here the utilization shows the speed test here. The other thing is we'll kind of go to the speed test is kind of going through the new through the new interface here. Yeah, of course, need to apply the setting otherwise you don't want to see the change. This is what it would look like if you want to run a speed test on the new one here. the new speed test side and let's go back to our old interface and we're going to switch that back to the classic have that change let's go and run the same speed test again on the classic view
I still like the classic view, but they do have two different versions here. There's utilization, tells you all your devices, shows you what's connected, you guess network, tells you what channels it runs on. Gives you the logs, gives you activity, Wi-Fi meter, manage Wi-Fi, let's go manage dashboard. Goes a lot more in depth than what's going on here. They have some things that's changed on here, very little compared to the last update. Um, so far, this has been running really well here. I haven't seen nearly any kind of problems since I've been recording here. Shows you if you have any logs, and you can see your logs, event view. You can see the event view, so it does give you everything you need to go right here. So you want to see what it all got fixed in the, the Unified 6.0.43. They have looked like they've done a lot here. That's good. They finally updated that. That's a good thing. Disables the Bluetooth after setup for complete the UDM Pro. That's good. So we have one less vulnerability. Finally, they got that fixed. Disabled the Bluetooth after setup and completed the UDM Pro. Perfect. Great. They finally listened to some people and knowing what or knowing that it's a good thing they've done security. So how to install AP Debian or uh, or Ubuntu updates? So this is a nice helpful article here. So this is um, new fixes if you want to be able to do some manual updates and information here. You notice that they have done a lot of different updates as this is so far has there it looks like they fixed a lot of the problems but I'm glad they finally got disabled Bluetooth um, after setting up the device so that's a good sign so that's a good news so that way we don't have uh, security vulnerability because we don't need to run that services plus it's just using resources we don't need. So this is just a review of what's changed, the uh, least notes of what's going on with the UDM uh, Pro, kind of the updates here. This is um, kind of going into Christmas Day. Um, this came out two days ago, but I finally just pulled the software update just to see what it's like and make sure everything's working and it seems like it is. They fixed a lot of problems, so 
I'm glad they're finally doing it. There's still one thing I would wish they would still be able to do, which is do so, be able to allow you to clear the threat management logs. But besides that, everything else, it seems like it's running fairly good. Uh, it's been really smooth and in the connection there. Um, I'm glad that they're at least trying to make an attempt, and they're constantly having a lot more updates than they used to. So, again, I'm glad that Ubiquity is actually trying to put some thought into trying to their, uh, trying to fix things, at least the community is asking for. So, um, there's a couple different things I know that they definitely still need to work on. But I'm glad that they're at least looking to the Florence-based office seeing some of these updates and what people are asking for. So what I would update depends on your situation. I update it just to see what it's like in an update. I always want to make sure I have the newest software updates. But again, if you're running like a small business and if something has any downtime, it can cause some crucial problems. I would probably just wait for a little while, see how everyone else, and let somebody else, everyone else test it. If you're just trying to be for more home user and you don't care if you have like a backup route or anything in case something happens, or you don't care about wiping your settings or have to go back in the software, then it probably is not a bad thing to update. Um, but again, this is not anything that's major, uh, majorly updating. They do patch quite a few problems, they said before. Again, they did patch. Finally, they made it so the Bluetooth is not broadcasting 24-7. So uh, we don't have that security vulnerability. So if somebody's not at your site, can't just take over your controller really easy through the Bluetooth or manipulate the Bluetooth itself since it's not broadcasting. So great. They finally updated some security policies. Um, so it looks like this is going to be a nice new update. I will make a follow-up video just to see how everything's running in about another 40 hours just to see how everything, if any kind of updates go through, we'll put them. Otherwise, I'm going to show here in about 40 hours, probably within the next 20, 48 to 72 hours, just another run view to show on the uptime, make sure everything's working properly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go through the, these are the just the major updates. Uh, thing. Um, since this is uh, Christmas morning, I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone and on there, or Happy Holiday season for whatever you celebrate. Um, I I enjoy. Thank you for uh, choosing my channel and my this content. And then, just like always, please, if it'd be possible, and if you don't mind taking a, so a few extra minutes, please click on that red subscribe button. I do appreciate that, so to make sure that everyone else can also enjoy this great content, so that YouTube can recommend it. Click on the notifications if you like my uh, content. Please click on that bell icon, just kind of let you know every single time I do come out with some new content. Um, I always want to try to keep on improving. If you have any feedback, don't don't hesitate to leave some comments there. Um, I will do it if I have, uh, as long as I have overwhelming amount of information requested here, I will definitely try to respond back. I do believe that it can, this is still a community, um, and we need to work together as a group to be able to kind of help with grow in that community. Haven't had any really new subscribers, so normally I would go through the best, basically a just random subscriber here, kind of go and recommend one of their channels, because again, I think that giving back to your uh, support community, because without a community, you really don't have a channel. Um, so this is just there. I w you can also go and uh, I will be sharing this also on my Facebook page here. So uh, if anybody has any questions there, they can also reach me out uh, on my Facebook page. Um, so. There is a lot of there if you also, or you can also leave comments on the site here. I am working with trying to get it build a web. I'm going to eventually build a web page, and uh, we're going to have some more content down the road. Um, mainly, I like you doing the Unify network. Uh, I'm kind of going through those updates. Um, I have had. I will also go through uh, Linux and any kind of utilities that go through that and kind of go through those kind of support. So we do have a lot of future use here. I'm going to see if I can go through GitHub and see if there's any kind of cool projects going on there. If I do see this, and I might almost start working with uh, start doing maybe a tech news um, kind of updates there because I there I know there's just a lot of other things like Gamer Nexus and uh, there's threat why there's uh, basically there's a whole bunch of security and information for other groups here. Um, so there is out there. Uh, uh, there so I can completely there I know there's other options out there but I want to constantly try to update my viewers I think it's important to have the most up-to-date information I want to make sure that I can try to get you there um, so and uh, thank you again for taking your time to view my channel